Hey everybody, guess where I am? Hi. This is Redneck Mama's new residence for a few minutes, for a little while. Hopefully, just a couple more days. Hopefully, yep. She's doing good. Maybe a week. I'm, I'm doing a lot better than I was. My hand was purple, purple. You wouldn't believe how awful it was. You want to tell everybody what happened? I fell down outside when I was trying to set my lawn chair down and I don't know what I hit. Kevin thinks I hit some a couple of pieces of some logs some something. pot pylons in there. Anyway, I hit my head on both sides of my head. I don't know how I did that. Somehow. I have a big bruise on my cheek where I hit there. Then I hit my hand real, real, real bad. It didn't get, nothing got broken. I was very lucky. Yep. But it hurt so bad, I couldn't ha even touch it. And then, of course, the jolt went up my arm and caused me some discomfort in my arm also. Anyhow, then I hit my hip, my thigh. And I have a, a big old, is it about this big, Kevin? I, I can't Yeah, I can't, it. I haven't seen it. You haven't seen no. it? No. It's a, it's a great big bruise on my thigh. Yep. So anyway, you're getting better. And I'm getting better now. They, they're doing some therapy and they're teaching me to, to touch my, with my thumb, to touch my fingers. And things are a lot better and, and I've had to, you know, wave my wrist. Yep. Get some strength and well, I've tell been us the doing better. Tell anyway, us the story about last night. Last night I had an experience. At three o'clock in the morning I woke up and I had to use the bathroom. Yeah. And so uh, I didn't think I had time to get to the toilet, which was right there, but I so I asked for the bedpan. Toilet's right there. So they got the bedpan because if I move too much then my whole diaper would get to wet. So they used the bedpan and put it there and just said, how much time do you need? I said, you need some time? I said, yeah, but I don't know how much. But she said, okay, I'm going to leave you here and you ring the bell when it's time to come and get you. Push the button. But I couldn't find the button anywhere <laughs> again. You couldn't find it. Is and you got, you're stuck in bed with a bedpan under you full of crap. Yes. And you can't find the button to call 25 them. 25 minutes. Yeah. And that is not a very comfortable thing to have stuck under I, you. I either. guess not. And then when you can't find it, okay, I couldn't call anybody because the door was closed, so they weren't going to hear me holler. Right. Like my other story I'll tell you about in a few minutes when I lost my button another day. So We'll tell that story another time. I decided to... After 25 minutes of putting up with discomfort, I decided I don't know what else to do except to use this telephone. And I I got her a I got her a cell phone that she can uh, use. It's a so I use this uh, and I called 911 <laughs> and told them my story. <laughs> I, was, I was stuck on the bedpan and I couldn't call anybody because I couldn't find my call button. But how you, and you couldn't tell them where you were. I didn't know where I was. They asked me. I said I was right at the hospital in the intensive care, and they moved me right next door. Yeah. And I don't know the name of the place. They asked me what my name was and my phone, my room number. So I told them that. She called nine one one. And they they figured out how to get a hold of them and tell them that I needed that I couldn't find the call button. Okay. And then they came in so and helped you with your bedpan? Yes. And, <laughs> the, and the call button was right there near my arm, but I had been reaching for it everywhere oh, to try boy. to find you it. Oh boy, couldn't find it. Couldn't find it. Well, have you put the phone number for the nurse's station in your phone? I don't know how to get to that. I don't know how to do anything on phones. All right. Well, we'll, we'll get that taken care of before I leave. So we'll put the nurse's station in there. But I don't know where to get to them. Well, we'll put their phone number in there and you can call them if right you have to. On, piece of on my TV guide. Okay. If it doesn't disappear. That'll work. Well, that's funny. I'm going to end this video. It's been five minutes now. And uh, 
We hope to see you home soon, Mom. Me too, because I'm getting tired of this. I hate this TV. Yeah. She don't like the TV. It's direct. Direct. TV. It's satellite dish. It's not what you're used to. And uh, it doesn't even have the same channels that she's used to. No. Nope. So, it's folks, funny. I've got to end the video. I've got to get back to the house. i got a crew out there putting in a wheelchair ramp. She's not going to be in a wheelchair. Chair. Don't get me wrong. She's not coming home in a wheelchair. But she doesn't need to be climbing concrete steps to get in and out of the house. We're going to make it a lot easier for her with a ramp. So, thanks for watching, y'all. And everybody, and thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye.